All right, class, so we're going to talk about tables. All right, so what I need you to do is to first follow along to my direction, and then you need to follow along to the uh, direction of this other video, okay? Uh, you also need to open up a split screen, and remember your split screen. You put your code on one side of the screen, and then your website or the video on the other side of the screen. So you can watch the video and then enter the code all simultaneously as you follow along. And remember to hit pause if you need to um, stop and catch up and rewind and, and figure out exactly what I said or the other video said. So um, make sure you do that. It's very important. So we're going to get started. All right, guys, we're talking about tables. All right, remember your table is a big square. All right, in this square you have rows and you have columns where these columns and rows intersect create cells so in this area right here these little squares are cells cells make up little cells make up column or make up uh, tables so uh, what you need to know is that when you put information into tables it makes it easier to read it makes it easier to view and it makes it easier to navigate so uh, it's very similar to Microsoft Excel, and most of you have or are working with um, the, in your IC3 classes on Microsoft Excel. So, first thing we need to, need to do to create this nice big table is to know our tags. And the table tag, the first tag is the table tag. That tag is table. Simple, very simple. Okay. The table is when you put table. It tells the website, hey, I'm ready to create a table. All right, so open table, close table tag. Remember, everything's got to have open. Next tag to know is how to create my nice rows. So everything going this way, my rows. All right, my rows are created with the TR tag, which stands for table row. All right. You close the TR tag with a slash TR. And then finally, what you need to know is to create a cell, you need to add T, D. Okay? These create cells or columns. All right? So to close that, you would do slash TD. All right? Inside these tags right here is where you would put your information for each cell. Now you need to know this. This is important. Table, table row, and table data. All right. Know those tags so you can follow along with this next video. And I want you to know. Um, I want you to tell me. So make sure you know what you can answer. What all the different things that you can add to a table after you watch this video. Okay. It's very important. All right. So. Now that you know the three different tags that you need to add to create a table, watch watch this guy as he explains exactly how to do it in Microsoft Notepad. And remember to pay attention to all the different things, all the different types of data you can add into a table. So very important. Now, what a table is, is it's an easy way to organize information on your website into rows and columns. It might make it easier to read, easier to view, easier to navigate. So if you're familiar with Microsoft Excel at all, that pretty much is a program to make tables. It's the same concept as like a spreadsheet. So if you don't know what table is or you never saw one before, then the easiest way to learn is just to watch this tutorial and trust me, by the end of it, you'll get it like that. So the first thing that we need to do in order to create a table is to make our table tags. And yes, the keyword for this is table and the ending tag table. So our entire table, all of the information is going to go in between these tags. So as I said before, tables consist of rows and columns. Now let's go ahead and make a, make a table with two rows. In order to do this, we need the tag TR. This stands for table row. And also at an ending TR, in everything that goes in between the opening and closing TR tag, that's going to be one row of the table. So let's go ahead and copy this and paste it. And now we have a table with two rows. We don't have any information in there, but hey, we got a table with two rows. It's a start. 
So remember earlier I said that tables consist of rows and columns. Well, in order to make a column in your table, go ahead and add some space in between your table rows so we have some room to work. And you might think that the keyword for this is TC, but it's not. It's actually TD, and I believe this stands for table data. Why they didn't name it column, I don't know. It would have made a lot more sense, but hey, uh, you know, I don't make the rules, they do. So anyways, TD and also an ending, TD, maybe it stands for touchdown, who know. And anything you put inside here is going to show up in that column. So let me go ahead and let me go ahead and just copy this. So now our first table row has three columns in it. So if you copy this, and paste it right here so check it out we have a table and it has one row and another row right here and each of these rows have three columns now if you save this and refresh it right now we we'll get an empty screen even though we have a table there if we don't have any data inside then nothing's gonna show up because it's like a blank table so let's go ahead and add some data um just write you know whatever's on your mind let's see what's on my mind today fish in capital letters must have accidentally hit caps lock um apples let's see what else tuna dang i must be hungry or something uh let's see a tuba you know musical um ham chops and let's see corn with a question mark like uh you know you're asking someone a sentence or a question or something who knows whatever six things are on your mind throw in there so let's go ahead and save this and see what we got go ahead and refresh this and you can see that our table now consists of the two rows here's row one and here's row two and each of these uh, rows has three columns one two three in the first one one two three in the second one and if you kinda highlight over it you can kinda see the border which brings me to another point um, if you don't quite understand yet trust me here's a little attribute that you can add to your table to make it a lot more clear or a lot clear more clear or clear I don't know what the correct term is but anyways you see how um, our table has no borders and the edges are kind of hard to see well table has an attribute called border and you can set it equal to however thick you want the border to be so let's go ahead and just make it one pixel thick and save it and check it out we now have a table that's a whole lot easier to see that yes it does in fact consist of two rows with three columns in each row. So yeah, that may be a little bit easier. So from now on, I'm probably gonna add that attribute in the upcoming tutorials just cause it makes everything a lot more clear. So anyways, that is your basics of how to create a table, how to create individual rows and columns. And in theory, you can have as many rows as you want and also as many columns in each row. So um, yeah, that's it. And <clears throat> another thing I wanna point out before I let you guys go, you see that all we did is add text into these columns or table data but you can add anything that you would add in the body for example if I wanted to add an image right here I could add an image if I wanted to add a link or a paragraph or a header I could do that so anything that you could add in the body of your website you can add in a table data so that's how you create tables um, I hope you enjoyed don't forget to stick around for the next couple of tutorials because we are not done with tables yet. There's a whole slew of things to cover. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. All right, so what can you add to a table? All right, let me know. Tell me right now. All right.